Hello everyone, uh, thanks for watching us today. Uh, today I'm honored to meet with uh, Sharif Hamimi, who is the technical manager for uh, SGB company in the Tremble Cafe. So I can see that in the Middle East uh, region that there are so many companies now thinking of improving the way how they work, uh, adopting new technologies. So is there any project that you want to uh, name or share with us like we're uh, working on at the moment or uh, you're planning to work on soon? The milestone project for UAE now or for Dubai is uh, Expo 2020. Uh, we have been involved with the uh, Route 2020, which is expansion of Dubai Metro for the Expo 2020. And this project was a huge project with uh, very tight milestones. And we, uh, we supported by supplying four mark for beer heads, for metro, metro stations, uh, for columns, slabs. And this was one of the challenging projects that we had uh, in the last year. Can talk more details about your role on that project? Like, uh, uh, were there any challenges for you that you want to uh, overcome or? Well, as a technical manager, uh, I have to be involved from day one uh, during the negotiation uh, because we, all these projects are technically uh, based, uh, uh, so we have to provide the best technical solution, we have to come up with competitive technical ideas that should give the client his own uh, perception that SGB is the right solution for his project. We prepare all the general engine draw drawing, concept drawings, uh, material list to make sure that we show the client our strengths in, in the project and how can we support by providing the best solutions. I'm sure like SGB is one of the leading uh, formwork and scaffolding companies in the region here and you will be always looking after um, adopting new technologies, uh, software, so can you talk, um, can you take us through some of the experiences that you had? Uh, as a technical manager, uh, I have to make sure that uh, we keep uh, improving our product productivity. So we try to achieve that by choosing the correct softwares that help us to save time during the design and creating the bill of quantities. Uh, we had one case with our Route 2020 project where we got awarded the special steel shutter for the beer head and we had only one designer at that time. And we used only the CAD software to prepare the shop drawings for, for this project. And unfortunately, the time frame was very tight. So we had to think how can we save in the design time because uh, as a designer it take around three to four weeks to finish the fabrication drawings, single part drawings, uh, repair bit of quantity. So we decided to move to Tecla in this project. Uh, we thought about that Tecla will give us a saving of around maybe 50% of the design time. So we contact Tecla and we got uh, two licenses in very short time and we start the project with Tecla only and we achieved what we believe that we can do is that we saved around 50%. Uh, the designer with Tecla, he can prepare the model and finish all the drawings, fabrication, single parts with bill of quantity in around 10 to 14 days maximum, which was very important for us to finish the job in the time frame assigned by the contract. Uh, that's really interesting. So, um, like as I know, always adopting new technologies will improve the way how you work. And I can see that from the experience you had on this project, like saving 50% of the time, it's a real uh, improvement sure. and uh, moving forward with the project. As you know, like also I see that the government is supporting like the companies to move forward to the uh, BIM or the building information modeling. And they are mandating uh, uh, and they are um, um, issuing some circulars in the industry to mandate the applying of BIM uh, across all the, the different players. Um, is that something you feel that is you are forced to do or you feel the value of what you're doing and you want to make a change? In no, we want to make a change for productivity uh, reasons. Uh, we believe that 3D uh, softwares uh, can reduce the design time again by a good percentage and in the same time for some sophisticated projects it's very hard to do it with 2D software, you need to do it with 3D and if you do it with 3D in CAD it's not the same uh, if you do it in a 3D uh, software so you need to have a very good 3D software where you can 
build your own uh, formwork for any inclined columns, very sophisticated roof. And this need very good software. Uh, we want to shift because of, as I told you, for our productivity reasons, uh, to make sure that we can save like 10 or 20 percent of our design time, which will have a huge impact on our uh, revenue at the end of the year. Right. Um, one thing more I wanted to ask you about is like the level of details. Uh, since you're talking about the 3D model, um, would it be sufficient if you have like basic information into the model? that can help you to do manufacturing for the formwork scaffolding and do the construction, or you have to have more level of details inside the models? Well, it depends on the project itself. In some projects, it will be important that we have like a planning also inside the software, which will uh, link all the suppliers with the contractor in one model where you can control the project and make sure that you achieve the milestones. At some projects, we don't need this this much of details, and uh, you just need the design to be in 3D. When we send it to the client on 3D, the client can understand the project and the formwork in a better way, since the 2D drawings may not represent uh, your work in a in a way that make him feel that okay, the formwork is easy because 2D drawings for them sometimes it's not easy to read. Yeah, so that's why the three softwares is the future, and we feel that within maximum 10, 10 years it should be with everyone now. That's great. Um, so, is there anything else that uh, exciting to you, like, and you want to share with us, like upcoming projects or uh, new technologies uh, going to be adopted by SGB? Uh, well, in SGB, we started to look into the three D printing, which was uh, something new to the UEA market, and uh, we are now building in some of the mega projects, which we can, yeah. can't tell you now, but we have uh, participated in any mega projects in UAE from airports, shopping malls, uh, high rise towers. So I think SGB will, will, they are trying to be a leader in the market uh, by achieving this using new technologies that's available and to try to up upgrade uh, our softwares and systems with the best softwares available in the market. So let's see in the future. That's really interesting, uh, Mr. Sharif. So uh, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, having this conversation today. It's always good to um, get the individual experience uh, during the projects, uh, especially with the topic that we're talking about, uh, technology, adopting the technology. So um, uh, once again, I'd like to thank you very much for um, uh, talking with us today in the Tremble Cafe. And uh, thank you everyone for watching us today and hope to see you next time.